nice thing about fly fishing is it is very meditative. There we go. You have to pay attention to everything because you look at the sun angles, you look at where the shadows are, you look at what's going on on the water. That's a great reel because it makes lots of noise. So much of that goes into your decisions on how I'm going to fish, where I'm going to fish, that it just becomes all encompassing and it's a very mindful practice. In the mountains of Montana, where the water flows quick and cold, there's a rhythm and a flow. And with every cast, Lindsay Zoffrin is one step closer to a dream. Montana born and raised gal. I grew up on a family farm and always fished as a kid. Like many Montanans, when the movie came out, the whole family got interested in fly fishing. We got into that and you know, the 90s, and I've been fly fishing ever since. Like many Montana kids, a rod in hand was a natural part of growing up. But it wasn't until years later that her fly fishing hobby would become something more. Her husband Andy has a lot to do with that. Our first date, we went golfing, but our second date, we went fly fishing. She was about as good at fishing as I was at golf, so it was it was okay. We went again, and she caught on pretty quick. Woo, there we go. Together they guide on the Stillwater and Yellowstone rivers in Montana. And every time she reels one in, she continues to gain something even an expert angler can see as valuable. This is a really special opportunity. An opportunity reserved only for six women across the country. Lindsay is one of them. As a kid, I was always very active in sports, and so was my family. I come from a very competitive family. I never honestly thought I would have the opportunity to compete on a world level. Now for this step, I need to get the glasses. <laughs> With this, it's years of experience that have gotten me to this level. That level is the U.S. women's fly fishing team. The competition is set for 2020 in Europe, but it was canceled this year because of the pandemic. It will be the first lady specific world fly fishing competition yet. Part of the adventure is just getting to the river. It's a great opportunity to have a women's team to meet women from across the country that have the same passion about the river and the fish that I do is really rewarding. Flies I'm using are all tied by my husband, who is an excellent fly tire. It's a skill she's developed and learned over time. I'm working really hard and training. It's also something she's learned from her husband. Uh, my, my coach, Andy, my husband, you know, has me on a good schedule of making sure that <laughs> I'm doing my training. Andy has encouraged and supported her in her mission to compete. He's really instrumental in getting me to this level. Very proud of her and I hope, you know, I hope she goes and wins every one. Hope that she can come back and teach me things I haven't learned yet. When she's out on the water and casting a line, there's a lot on her mind. But fly fishing has a way of clearing the fog. But aside from dreams of a world title or perhaps even Olympic medal one day in the sport of fly fishing, 
She hopes to cast this widely loved sport in Montana onto a national stage. It's honestly something I'm still wrapping my head around that I have the opportunity to make that happen. In Red Lodge, Andrea Lutz. There's a rainbow. MTN News.